Habari, this is Juliana from Ushahidi. Um, the Ushahidi project started as actually a blog post by Oreo Kolo, and the project came about after the post-election violence in Kenya. It's currently an open source project where we're creating a software for crowdsourcing crisis information. The platform has been used to track xenophobic attacks in South Africa. It's being used in uh, Democratic Republic of Congo, and most recently it's being tested by Al Jazeera Labs. Um, uh, the future of the project is to add more functionality and to create a, a beta version that is downloadable, and we're very happy to be working in conjunction with Frontline SMS with Ken Banks, uh, and that functionality for handling SMS through a uh, frontline SMS has been implemented and we're very um, proud to be associated with him. Um, frontline SMS and Ushahidi go hand in hand very, very well. Actually, I've been, um, I've been encouraging people to download frontline SMS, use it, get used to it, uh, such that when you do get Ushahidi, um, you, you'd be familiar with how frontline SMS works. Yeah, so it, it's, it's likely that it'll be together, but uh, we're yet to figure all that out. But it, it's frontline and Ushahidi are very um, complementary, very, very complementary. The idea is to provide a way to bring uh, information from uh, via SMS, email, and web and geolocating it, placing it on a map, so that, such that you can see where the most incidents are happening. Um, we also have an option for using open street maps and virtual earth. For example, Al Jazeera used a virtual earth to map, um, it, to map Gaza. So we do have that option in the back end. It's not, it's not visible on the front end, but um, it, the, the testers or people who use it do have the option of, of using other um, mapping providers. Ushahidi is working on a beta uh, version where people can download, they can request a download, and they can tell us a little bit about their project and how they hope to use the platform. And uh, we're hoping in a few months that we'll have that ready. Um, and we can see how uh, this platform can be used around the world. So basically, if you add to uh, the uh, Ushahidi code, or if you customize it in any way, you'll need to also um, license it as uh, an open source, LGPL. It's PHP, and we use the LAMP architecture. Um, uh, basically using a Linux box, Apache server, MySQL, and PHP. The conference has been uh, interesting in, such a, in a way that it brings together all these organizations that are working in um, many different countries and uh, they're trying to learn about innovative ways of doing things. So um, actually I've uh, Ushahidi is pretty honored to be here because uh, we we did not know about the conference or we didn't even know there's a place called Gijon, Spain. But um, it's been valuable in terms of uh, seeing the importance of uh, platforms that encourage collaboration and uh, cooperation on a massive scale. So uh, that they would include a crowdsourcing platform uh, is uh, is we we are appreciative of that, and uh, the previous roundtable there was a lot of uh, discussion about what is the best way to go about um, development or using uh, mobile phones and tools for development. So that's a frontier that um, it would be interesting to follow and see what the outcomes of this conference um, are. Okay, thank you. Goodbye.